my name is Kelly everyone. I'm going to be taking you through this um, full body little 30 minute yoga stretch today. Uh, we're going to stretch the body out, we're going to feel relaxed at the end of it, you're going to feel energised and ready to take on the rest of the day. So we're going to just begin by coming into a cross-legged position, so whatever that is for you, so whether you have the legs, the feet crossed over, maybe you have them all further apart like me, and if you're really tight or in the hips and hamstrings, then maybe you put a block or if you have a cushion or something at home, just under your bum, just to tilt the pelvis forward and give you a little bit more um, mobility here in the hips. But if you don't have that, that's fine. We're not going to be here too long. We're just going to do a little bit of breathing to settle us down into the practice. So wherever you are, just resting the hands onto the knees. Close down the eyes. And let's start with some nice, deep, big, deep inhales in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we'll take another two deep inhales here. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And then taking the biggest breath you've taken today, filling up the lungs from all sides, the front, the back. And then when you exhale, squeezing all that air back out. And then just bring the hands to your belly here. And I want you just to breathe into the belly. So still taking nice big deep inhales here, but as I want you to breathe into the belly because I want you to think about fully expanding in the lungs. If we spend most of our lives breathing from the top third of the lungs, I want you to really try and breathe into the full expansion of the lungs here. And as you breathe and as you have the eyes closed here, just notice how the body feels. And you noticing, and you begin to notice, sorry, the outside world just fading away. As you bring your attention and your awareness to the body. And just soften the face. Take another big deep inhale. Exhale, opening the eyes. Good. Inhale the arms up over the head. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms up to the sky. Now trying to keep your sitting bones on the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, lean to one side. Inhale back up to center. Exhale the other side. Inhale back up. Exhale the hands down behind you. Interlace the fingers behind the back and bring the chin down to the chest. And you're trying to take the hands away from your back here. We're opening up through the front of the body through the chest and the shoulder blades. And then we're going to bring the hands into center, round the back. And again, push the hands away. So you clasp the hands, you're pushing them away as far as you can. And then bring the body up. Good. Now we're just going to walk the fingertips away. So go onto the fingertips, walk away as far as you can, and then drop your head down. Now if you feel like your bum is coming off the floor, just push it back a little bit to try and keep the sitting bones down. And just go away as far as is comfortable. And then walk the hands over to the left side. And put the right hand on top of the left hand. And then look under the left arm. So I want you to feel a stretch down the right side of the body. And then we'll come back through center. Left hand on top of the right hand. Look under the right side. And back into the middle, pushing yourself up to seated. Good. We're going to roll over onto our hands and knees here. And just do a little stretch for the wrists. So having the hands flat onto the ground, Shoulders are over the wrists. I want you to squeeze the belly button in towards the spine and then extend over the wrists. So don't let the belly hang down. Squeeze it in and you're leaning over the wrist so that you can feel the hands and feel the wrists starting to wake up here. And then we're going to push back to a child's pose. So knees together, just drop the head down to the ground. And again, if this is a little bit tight for you just and you feel like your bum's up in the air, you can put a block or a cushion or something under your head and just relax. Now this is our 
posture should you ever want to relax during the session, just come back into this child's pose. Big inhale here. Exhale back over the shoulders, the shoulders over the wrists. Good. And then start to wiggle the spine side to side. So almost as if you're like a snake. And you start to look around to your ankles. So we're creating a bit of mobility in the spine here, just waking it up this morning. And then maybe you start to lift it up and down. Up through round the back, arch the back, and look around to the side. Good. And then back into centre here, we're going to go into a cat cow. So shoulders are again over the wrists, arch the back, lift the head up, squeeze the shoulder blades back, and then round the back, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone under, push up through the hands. And again, inhale, start to look up, arch the back, exhale, round the back. We're going into that, when a cat's scared and they jump up into that pose, that's what we're aiming for here, and we're be round the back. And again, inhale, bring the head up. And exhale, round the back. Good, we'll come back to centre here. Tucking the toes, we're going to push back to our first downward dog. So push the hips up to the sky. Spreading the fingers nice and wide. And you can bend the knees here if you want, little pedals in the knees. You're trying to push your head through the upper arm, looking towards your ankles. And then from here, squeeze the thighs back. Push into the, th the first finger and the thumb, thumb knuckle. Don't hold the breath. Take bends in the knees if you want. We're going to be here for another few breaths. And remember, you're trying to stretch out through the spine here, as well as all through the back of the legs. Good. Look forward. Bend the knees. Step the feet behind the hands. And we're going to inhale the arms all the way up. And then exhale them down into centre. Good. Now, stand, standing with the feet hip distance apart here, in, uh, cross the hands over the elbows, or the, cross the arms over, sorry, and take the hands up above you. I want you to lift up as high as you can through the upper body, and then lean to one side here. Now, if you feel the top arm is rolling down, push it back up and open. And again, back up to centre, and down the other side. And back up to centre. Good. So we're standing at the top of the mat here. Take a big inhale up with the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So flat back. Exhale, hands down. Step back to your high plank. We're going to drop the knees, bend the elbows backwards, and come all the way down to the ground here. We're going to come up into cobra, squeezing the elbows back. Chin is down, looking towards the top of the mat. And then push back into a child's pose here. And breathe. And think about breathing into the back here. So we need to breathe into the back of the lungs, create space, big inhales and big exhales. And then lift the body up. We're going to come straight into a puppy pose. So the bum stays up in the air, hands reach away. Chin or the forehead comes down to the ground. So there's a nice stretch through the shoulders here. And if you want to take it further, then you bring the chin down. That's a little bit more intense, so only do if it feels okay. And push back shoulders under the wrists here. Push back to your downward dog. Again, a little walk on the, the pedal of the feet here if you need to. And then drop back down to the knees. We want you to inhale the left arm up to the sky. Now follow the hand and look up towards the fingertips. And then exhale, bring it through the right arm onto the floor. We're going to take a twist here. Now thread the needle. Now make sure that the right hand is planted onto the ground. The right elbow is up and start to look up to the sky. And if you want to take this one step further, you can just bring the right hand behind the back and open up even more. So we're getting a nice twist in the back here. And we'll bring the hand back down, push up to your tabletop, inhale the right arm up, and then we'll exhale it through the left arm, right shoulder, and the side of the head comes to the ground. And this time the left hand and the left elbow are up to the sky as you twist and look up to the ceiling. 
And remember, if you want to take this one further, then you bring the left hand behind the back. And any type of twist here is great to decompress the spine, especially if you've been doing a lot of sitting, if you have any lower back pain. A twist is always good. And we'll come back to our tabletop position here. Push back to your downward dog. Little pedal in the knees here. Good, I want you to inhale the right leg up to the sky. And then exhale in between the hands here. So bring the foot up to the top of the mat and then we'll rise up into a high lunge. So in your high lunge here, you wanna be on the balls of the back foot and you're bending into the right knee. So this is good for anyone who's a runner, maybe a cyclist, again, if you've been sitting lots, this is a great one for the hip flexors. So I want you to lift the arms up above you and lunge further into that right knee. Now if you feel that the back knee is bent down, try and straighten it and extend the knee to really get that, strip, uh, that stretch through the hip flexor, good. And if you want to take this even further, you can bring it into a back bend, look up and start to arch the back, but only do that if it feels comfortable. And then bring the hands down to the ground, we'll drop the knees here, tuck the back toe, Inhale the arms up, and then exhale, lunge into that right knee even more. So again, you should be really feeling this in the hip flexor here. Breathe, take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna drop the hands down either side of the right foot. Then tuck the toes of the left foot, lift the kneecap up. Now, if you're finding this is a little bit challenging for you and you've got some blocks or a book or a cushion, Put that under your hands just so you've got a bit more space to work with here. And then you're just going to pulse back and forward on the tiptoes here just to get into that hip flexor. Then we'll drop the knee down, tuck the toes, right hand comes on the inside of the right leg. And again, you might find that this is enough of a stretch for you here and you don't want to go further. If that's absolutely fine. If you do want to take this one step further, then maybe you start to lower down to your elbows, or maybe you find that you can lower down to one elbow and not the other. Or again, if you put a cushion, a book, a block, anything that you have at home under your elbows here. And then you might want to turn the right foot out to the side more to get even more of a stretch through the groin and the hip here. And then just drop your head down and breathe. Good. Now slowly come back up. Take the right hand, put it onto the right knee, and we're going to take a little twist here. So you're going to push the right arm out and start to look over the left shoulder. And we'll come back into centre here. Good. Now just take the hands again, either side of that right foot, or tuck the toes of the left foot. See if you can kick it up to the air. Give it a little stretch out and we'll drop it down. Good. Inhale the left leg to the sky and we're going to exhale it in between the hands, rise up to a lunge on the left side. So again, bending into the left knee, extending the right leg, try and bring the kneecap up. If you feel that the kneecap has dropped down, see if you can extend it to stretch through that right hip flexor. And if you need to adjust the stance and go a little bit wider, then do. Arms come up. And again, if you want to take this into a back bend, you lift, lift the arms up, you extend the spine, and you start to arch back. We're not just crunching into the lower back, you're extending and lifting. And then again, we'll come down either side of that left foot. Drop the knees a sec. And again, if you want here, hands either side onto a block, that's fine. If not, you're going to tuck the uh, toes and then just pulse back and forward on the left, on the right foot here, sorry. So again, nice stretch through the right hip flexor. Then we'll drop the hands, or come sorry, to the inside of the, uh, so we'll drop the knees, sorry. We've got to do our little um, arms up. We're going to lunge forward again into this one. So bring, lunge into the left uh, knee. Good, and then we'll bring the hands down either in, on the inside of the left leg. And then this is your choice here, whether you go in, onto, the tip, onto the tiptoes of the right leg, stretch it either side, maybe you wiggle back and forwards. 
and then we'll come into our lizard. So again, the option to go further onto the elbows here. And if you want to turn the left foot out to the left more, so you feel more of a stretch through the hamstring, the groin. But don't force anything. If it's really uncomfortable, just come back out of it. Push yourself up. Try not to force anything in. Little wiggle side to side. Good. And then we'll come back up nice and slowly. Hands either side of that left foot. Let's kick that left leg up to the sky. Give it a little stretch out. Nice. Then we're going to do one more little stretch here for the hips, which is quite a big, intense one. So just see how you go with it. We're going to take the right leg up to the sky. And then we're going to bring it up to the top of the mat. We're going into our pigeon. So pigeon, if you listen to the, the right knee goes behind the right wrist. The right ankle is in line with the left wrist, but it's not right behind it. It's more of a hairpin. And then we'll start to take the left leg behind us, drop it down onto the ground. So you've got almost like the right leg is like a hairpin. Now, you might find that you're rolling over to the right if this is a little bit tight. So try and prop yourself up with something under your bum so that you don't roll to the side. So if you have a cushion, a block, Anything at home that you can just squidge under the right bum so that you can relax here. Now we're going to go a little bit further down if we come onto the elbows. Now if you feel like I said that your spine is rolling to the right, just try and correct it and bring it into centre. And then you can just drop the head down and relax. So you should be feeling this in the bit in the bum. You might feel it on the inside of the hip here. You also might feel it on the left hip flexor. And just breathe nice and slowly so if it's uncomfortable just try to follow the focus of the breath coming in and out of the body and we'll come back up slowly slowly now you've got the option here if you want to bend the left knee now you might find that that's really tight already in the, in the quad of the left side and it doesn't want to go any further you might find you want to reach behind and maybe pull on that leg a little bit. Now just do whatever feels nice because this is very, very intense, deep stretches, so don't force anything. If it feels nice, bend the right knee, or the left knee, sorry. And we'll drop that down, good. We'll come back up, so kick that leg out, just give it a little stretch. And then we'll come onto the other side. So take the left leg to the sky, and then we'll bring the left leg up to the top of the mat and we'll take the right leg back. So remember the left leg's almost like it's on a hairpin here. If you feel like you're rolling over to the left side this time again, pop something under your bum on the left side, and then start to just lower onto the elbows. Now for some of you this might be really, really tight. You might find it's uncomfortable, you don't have the flexibility in the hips, the hamstrings, that's fine. Just stay up a little bit higher. Don't force yourself to come down. But I want you to try and relax into it. So if it is really uncomfortable, just close your eyes and breathe. And we're going to hold it there for one more breath. And we'll come up. Good. And then again, same thing, bend the right knee. If that's comfortable, stay there. If it's not, don't go any further. If you want to go a little bit further, you can start to pull back on the right leg. Now remember, this is a good one for runners for cyclists, and again, if you're sitting, you're stretching out all through the front side of that right leg. But remember, it can be quite tough, so just be careful. And we'll drop it down. Again, kick that left leg up to the sky. Give it a little shake out. And we'll drop down to the ground. Good, now I want you to roll over to a high plank. You can either drop the knees here and lower down, or go from a high to a low press up, all the way down to the ground. Good. And we're just going to work into our back a little bit here. So if you, again, if you've been doing a lot of sitting at desks, this is going to be good for the back. We're going to be doing some strengthening. So I want you to bring the hands by the armpits, feet are flat onto the ground, and squeeze the elbows in as you start to push up. And look your head, your head, look at your head, sorry, towards the top of the mat. So your head's not up and your neck's crick, you're looking down. Breathe. And then lower down nice and slowly, good. 
bring the hands to the four corners, the four corners, the top corners of the mat. And I want you to relax your bum as you push up here. So, because if you squeeze the bum, you're making less space for the spine. So I want you to have the hands onto the top corners of the mat and push up the body again. And this time, just take it into a little back bend. So maybe you do lift the head up. Breathe. And slowly lower down. Good. Now from here, I want you to extend the arms in front of you. And we're going to work into the muscles in the back again. So if you have any pain in the lower back and this feels like a twinge and not a good pain, don't do this. But this should feel like we're strengthening the muscles in the back. So your head faces down towards the mat. We're going to inhale and lift the arms and the legs off the ground and extend them in opposite directions. So squeezing into the back muscles, I want you to squeeze the bum, squeeze the, um, the thighs, point the toes and reach the arms away. Holding it for one more breath and drop down. Good. And just wiggle your bum and your hips side to side here. Good. Now we're going to take the hands behind us, interlace the hands, and we'll take the hands off the bum here and see if you can lift the chest up. So again, we're working into the shoulders here and the back to um, counteract that hunch that we have on our desk. And if you want to take this one step further, maybe you lift the legs off. Your choice. One more breath. And lower down. Good. A little wiggle hip side to side. And then we'll push back to a child's pose. But this time we're going to do a child's pose with the knees wide. So feet together, knees wide, and then extend the arms away from you. So when we have our knees wide in yoga, we create, uh, in the child's pose, it creates length through the spine rather than rounding the back. Another big deep inhale. And exhale. And we'll push back up onto the knees here. And then we're just gonna cross the ankles, just come onto your bum. And then we're going to lower down to the ground. So have the hands out in front of you. Slowly lower the body down. So use your core, squeeze your belly in. And lower down to the ground. Good. Now I want you to be able to touch your fingertips onto your ankles. And you're going to push up into bridge here. So squeeze the bum. And lift up as high as you can. You shouldn't feel any pressure in the lower back. If you do, I want you to push into the feet more. Squeeze the bum, squeeze the thighs, and lift up. Good. Take one more breath here. And slowly lower down. Good. Now we're going to do another little inversion. So you've got a choice here. You can either go back up into the bridge, or we're going to just have the feet go upwards. So you've got a couple of choices. If you have a block or a cushion near you, you can put this under your bum. Well, option one, so, well, I should say option one, is just legs up like this. Or if you have a wall, you can put your legs up the wall. Option two, put a block under your bum. Or option three, to do the bridge. Or if you want to go higher into shoulder stand, your choice as well. So whatever feels nice, you're just sitting there relaxing, letting the feet go up into the air, letting the blood pump back down to all our vital organs, or just re-energizing the body. Wherever you are, just wiggle the ankles, whether you're in bridge, whether you're in shoulder stand, whether you've got the legs up the wall, just rotate through the ankles. Good. And then just move the block under your bum, if that's under your bum. If you're in shoulder stand, slowly start to come back down. So I want everybody to have their back lying onto the, lying flat on the mat, sorry. And then we're going to come into a happy baby. So we're going to grab the outside edges of our feet with our hands. And then open the hips. And just take a little rock side to side. So the more you pull down on the, um, the feet, the more you're going to feel this in the hips. Good. And then gently drop the legs down. From here, taking the hands and just bring them into a cactus shape. So if you just bring the elbows at 90 degrees. 
Come cross the right leg over the left leg and then bring that knee back into the chest. I want you to drop the legs down to the right side. Now if that's too much of a stretch for you, just have the knees together and drop it down to the right and then look over to the left. So you should be feeling a nice stretch in the back again. And then we'll bring it back up to centre. And again, we'll go down to the left side. So if the knees are more comfortable just being together, then cross them, that's fine. But if you want to take it further, then just cross the left leg over the right leg. And then drop the legs down to the left as you look over to the right. Body back into center. Give yourself a hug here. So bury the head in towards the knees. And then extend the arms out overhead. Extend your legs out. And I want you to squeeze everything up. So scrunch the face, scrunch the hands up, squeeze the belly, the bum, the thighs, the toes, and then relax. And one more time, squeeze everything up, scrunch it all as much as you can, and then relax. And then bring the hands down by the side of you. And I want you to let the legs just roll to the side. Have the palms facing up and just let the fingers curl up. And then just gently drop the head side to side, just wiggle the neck. And then bring it back into centre here. And then just start to close the eyes. And let's take some nice, slow, deep breaths. And with each breath, just feel the body relaxing, being still, being calm. And then just take this opportunity to check in with yourself. I want you just to notice how you feel, both mentally and physically. What sensations or feelings, thoughts, emotions can you feel that's going on in your physical and your mental body? And then take a big deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. And then just start to roll the body onto the right side. And then when you're ready, very slowly, just keeping the eyes closed, push yourself back up to seated. Wherever's comfortable for you, just cross your legs, just rest the hands onto the knees. Drop the shoulders down. We'll just bring the hands together in front of the heart. Take a big deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And very gently, just start to flicker your eyes open. And namaste. Well done everybody. I hope you enjoyed that quick 30 minute stretch. Lots of stuff for the hips, the hamstrings, and a little bit for the neck, back, and shoulders. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome guys.